Hi everyone and welcome along to Peter's Reviews. Today we're out and about but we're going to pull over up here and we're going to look at how I've accessorised my bike because lots of people within the, the, our group and the, our YouTube pages talk a lot about how to accessorise the bike and make changes. There's lots of uh, new accessories available from eScoot, I'll show you some of them, but also uh, there's lots of uh, other accessories people like to get elsewhere and I've done a little bit of that myself. So we'll pull over up here uh, and uh, we'll take a look at my bike and we'll see what we think. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so I said we're going to pull over and we're going to look at the accessories that I've put on my eScoot Poluno. So let's start up at the, the handlebars here. So you can see I have a little a right side mirror for a, when I'm dealing with traffic on the right side on, on main roads. Just gives me that confidence a, when I, don't, I can't get to look around properly. That really, really does help. Next, I've a, actually purchased the e-scoop throttle as you can see here. And a, if I just press it for you now, you can see the back wheel there spinning. A, I find it really handy for pulling away at lights or starting on steeper hills. Just gives you that confidence to get away in traffic and stuff so yeah i do recommend the old throttle uh, it is very handy not legal in this country so please remember that and use it at your own risk next up i have a, a phone holder this is just one that i had from my bike before that i've just moved across and that was just something i bought off amazon it's fit it's worked out to be very handy on the front of the bike here you can see that i have the new e-scoot lock the uh, which i'll be talking now about more in a separate review but uh, I've mounted that on my handlebars here there's other places but because I've got my water bottle and stuff here I've decided to mount it here and it sits really nicely there so that's a handy thing e-scoot e-bikes very expensive you've got to lock them up wherever you go uh, so I highly recommend uh, getting yourself a good lock and this one working out great okay moving on to comfort now most of us we all do this we change the seat or Anyone over 30, 45 like myself in the 50s, 60s, even 70s and 80s, we've got owners. We all change the seat and we all go for something that's got a bit of spring in the back here, a bit of good cushion padding. And the one thing I have added as well, I've got this a, a, it's SR Suntour a sprung seat post. You can see it going up and down there. Now, I love it. I think we've got good suspension on the front of this bike. And this really helps because there's no suspension on the rear. I wouldn't be without it now. I really do recommend a, a suspension seat post and a good padded seat. Next up, we've got a, a little water bottle holder screws on the, the new Peluno. I believe it's on the Natino as well. So I picked myself up a, a little water bottle holder that came with a water bottle and it just screws on there nicely. Comes with the screws, sits there perfectly. A, can't be without it now. It's really good and I picked it up off of Amazon. Moving to the rear of the bike now and we have the pannier bags which I do talk about in a separate video so do take a look at these I really do recommend them. The pannier bags actually fold into themselves and then you can see the re-scoot branding this all tucks away inside the bag if you just want to use it as a, a, a rear bag but if you want to fill the panniers up like I have you, both sides good panniers and what's great about this is it has a reflective light a coating on it here so you know when you're out there you've got your real lights on you've got the reflective strips on there as well you can't go wrong it secures to the the rear rack very easily with the velcro strips it doesn't go anywhere it's got a good amount of a space inside and the material in the inside of it as well is good it's a it's like keep cold material if you want to call it that it's it's, it's insulated so you put stuff in there and you need to keep it chilled it's a good water bottle a bit of lunch whatever it'll be fine in there in a hot day so yeah, picked that up off of eScoot. They do the standard bag without the panniers and they do it with the panniers. Like I say, I like the pannier one more. So what do you think? How do you modify your eScoot Polunos, Natinos, Voyagers, eh, Wayfarers, the whole range? I'd love for you to come back to me, show me some pictures eh, within the eScoot owners group or eh, via the, the YouTube channel. Eh, so please, Come back to us and let us know how you modify your bike. So if you've enjoyed this video today, please remember to give us a, a like. It's always appreciated. If you haven't subscribed already, why not? Come on, join the group and subscribe with us. It really does help the channel grow 
and then more people get to see and know about these e-scoot bikes. Uh, if you haven't joined our e-scoot uh, owners group, go along to Facebook, type that in there and you'll find us. Uh, answer a couple of questions and uh, the admins will let you in and because uh, it's a private group and we'll get you in there and join uh, and you can in, in, enjoy the conversation with all the owners. Uh, you can ask questions, uh, get them answered or if you have any problems with your bikes, we've got some really talented people on there, bike owners, uh, bike shop owners on there. So come along, ask your questions, we'll do our best to help you. If you do have trouble, we can point you in the right direction to the people at eScoot. Uh, if you're looking for accessories on that, we can point in the right direction for there. And the group also, if you're a, a group uh, or a YouTube follower, uh, you can get £100 off of any e-scoot bike at the moment. We have a, a code, uh, a discount code. It is Peter August 100, which is Peter AUG 100. And uh, that will get you £100 off of any new e-scoot bike right now. So again, make sure you, you like and subscribe and come and join us. Now, again, looking forward to getting your feedback to see what you've added to your bikes. So for now, I'll say goodbye. See you soon.